All right, I'm actually gonna go ahead and continue on here. My ankle's all broken, so I don't really want to move. I apologize for my uh, boring commentary, but I know a little bit about the game, so I'll try and uh, at least inform you if you're trying to learn. So we've got a Jigglypuff Falco here, Big Wens versus Aglet. Big Wens is a uh, old school player here in the area. Aglet is a actually a very new school player in the Fairfax area. He is an up and coming Jigglypuff. I would say in this match, Aglet's probably the favorite. He's a, a good player. He's really, really coming up. So we're gonna see a lot of uh, a lot of lasers. We're gonna see a lot of combos. And we're going to see the Jigglypuff Puff just trying to avoid things. So. Uh, Aglet goes ahead and takes the first stock with an F smash. So, you know, it's a good lead to have as a Jigglypuff player. You can take another stock at any point and just kind of take the game out of control. Aglet went for a pound out of nowhere, got punished for it. got Wentz. Wentz constantly moving forward and being the aggressor in the matchup, which is not at all what he wants to be doing. So that's definitely something he could work on, is that when you're Falco in this matchup is you want to force Jigglypuff to approach you. And uh, she, has a, she has a lot of anti-approach mechanisms, but not very many uh, approach mechanisms. So. You've got a laser, you need to make that game happen the way it is, and, and this match is rolling the way it is because he's, he's not doing that. So, uh, maybe he'll adjust game two. We'll see. So, Aglet with a three stock to one lead. Falco made, it, Falco made a couple mistakes, and, uh, you know, big punishes. You know, this game is so much about risk 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 reward ratios. And, when you've got a character like Jigglypuff with such high risk reward, you, re you really have to you know, try, try and negate that. And you got to put them in situations where their risk is equal to their reward. And when you're going at them, and, and the best you're going to get is maybe a hit and a combo, and what they're going to get is maybe a grab or a rest, this is not, not good for the, for the Falco in the situation. Especially how delicate a Falco's lives are. Just like the last game. So. Got two stock to one. Big one to make a little bit of a comeback. He's trying to be a little more patient. Camp the platforms. Aglet could have ended the set there or the match there with a uh, rest, but he chose not to. Here he goes. And Aglet had the right idea with that edge guard, but he just didn't execute properly. It's the mark of a new player still getting their game down. You know? 1-0 Aglet. I think that might be coaching. 
I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Yeah. But, uh, I also don't care. So. Yeah, we got a very close game right now. Yeah. Run away, run away. When, when Jigs goes by the ledge and you're a space animal, run away and shoot lasers. That is a very fair assessment. Skill, you can hang by the ledge and try and get whatever option they use to get up from the ledge and punish it. But if you are ever getting caught with that Jigglypuff puff getting up from the ledge with a pound or a grab or whatever, you just shouldn't be there. You need to figure out your fundamentals a little more before you go by that ledge. The Aglet missed a free shield grab there. That looks like an example of someone playing against players better than better than what they're used to. Because he didn't go for any sort of punish opportunity there because he didn't expect the other player to miss no cancel. Sometimes when you're playing lower level players, you have to expect them to kind of mess up a little bit more. And just uh, know that that has to be separate from when you're playing top level players. So it, it would have been a great punish opportunity for him. But regardless, he's uh, winning. It's very close. Let's see what happens. Basic battle here, we got Aglet with two stocks, wins with two stocks, wins with a drop shine, pops up, we can't make another follow off of it. See right there, you see Wen starts shooting some lasers, and then he just runs in and does a down air and he gets punished. There was no reason to run in a down air, he could have just stayed back, shot the lasers, made the Jigglypuff puff come to him, and did a counter move. He chose to go in and just go in with an attack, and what was the point of the what was the point of the four lasers if you're just gonna run up with an attack afterwards? Your lasers didn't say anything. Okay. So we got Aglet's running away with his match. There we go, we got one to one. Wen's with the comeback. If Wen shoots 20 lasers in stock, he might win. Right there, Wen's double jumped up in the air. Once Wen's double jumped in the air, he fell back into the Jigglypuff with an aerial, and your priority is not going to win that fight. So he needed to fall back, run away.